Good morning, everybody. Boker Tov. Hope you are going to have a wonderful day today. Um, if you have time, I would really recommend joining Ali's class at 3 p.m. You will learn wonderful wisdom for living from a Jewish perspective. That's at 3 p.m. Don't miss it. Um, fear of God. Ooh, fear of God. Oh, that sounds terrible. No one wants to fear God. No one wants to live in fear. What is fear of God? talking about it. We've been talking about it and how it relates to love of God and why it's a constant mitzvah. So I just want to say one thing. You know, one of, one of the philosophies, one of the false counterfeit philosophies that I think have really um, done a number on the way Western civilization thinks and the way we function is something called moral relativism. Moral, rel moral relativism means basically there really is no such thing as right or wrong, and everything is relative, and, and you know, no one can say this is right, and no one can say this is wrong, and no one can say this is good, and no one can say this is bad. That's patently false, according to Judaism. Judaism believes in something called absolutes. There is a right, and there is a wrong. And it's possible to say that that is bad, and it's possible to say that that is good. Now, that might not be a very popular philosophy today, but Judaism has believed this forever. And that is why Yiras Hashem, fear of God, what is fear of God? Fear of God means that there is objectively something that is called bad and wrong. There are things that you can do that are, dare I say, evil. Okay, And I don't, I don't just mean murder and rape and those kind of things. There are other things that are actually considered morally wrong. Yiras Hashem, fear of God, means be real. Be real. Don't live in a world of moral relativism where I can decide what's right or wrong or society can decide what's right or wrong. Where does morality come from? How does one society decide something is right or wrong? Is it up to society to decide what's right or wrong? Well, if that's the case, any society at any given time is going to believe something. There could be something, there are many things. I can give plenty of examples of things in the United States, which in the 40s or the 50s or even the 60s before the you know, the hippie movement in the 60s where things were considered immoral, absolutely immoral and inappropriate. And then 10 years, 20 years, 30 years later, they become completely moral and acceptable. That's what happens when society is left to define morality. It moves and it waves back and forth. So where does morality come from? There has to be something which transcends societal decisions. You know, in Germany in 1938 or 1940, the moral thing to do, a good moral German, ethical German, was somebody who was willing to kill as many Jews as possible. How could that be? That's what society determined was moral. Society can't say what's right or wrong. Laws, government can't say what's right or wrong. They can say what's legal or illegal. If there is a right or wrong, it has to come from a source higher than human beings. It has to transcend human arbitration. And therefore, it has to be that there's one infinite source of morality. That's Yiras Hashem. Fear of God means recognize, be real, be true. There is a right and there is a wrong. Now go find out what it is. And, and if you care and it matters to you, then a change your life and, and adapt your philosophy and your perspective to be consistent with what you find out to be true and false and right or wrong. Moral relativism is one of the counterfeit uh, disaster philosophies of our generation. Judaism says there is a right and there is a wrong. And that's what fear of God is. Fear of God is living with that reality. Pretty heavy, I know. Think about it.